Yeah. I was just yeah, gonna, we're, we're yeah let's, let's face therapy. let's FaceTime my roommate's girlfriend together. Yeah. Yeah. Let's all just all try right. and start. Let's let's just get her phone number and let's all start contacting her at once and texting her like. Yes, at various times please, of the day. Oh, please, please. <laughs> oh, are we are we doing this? Are we doing this? Oh, camera unavailable. Whoa. Camera unavailable. No, do you guys don't try it. You guys don't try it. Every time you guys try it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What no. the fuck? Why, why isn't it working? <laughs> Hold on, Patrick, I need to leave. Oh, Jake's gone now. Is it working? <laughs> Fine. Hey, guess what? You. Yeah. Here's the thing. Hey, 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 hey. What? That it, that game was possibly statistically the luckiest game I have ever played. I'm not kidding. Patrick, can we hear you? Can you hear me? Mm. What um, is up with this screen? Because he, he probably doesn't have his camera connected to Discord. There, uh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it's day. This is all being recorded, in both it's sound new. and in video. Why is and what the fuck is happening? Is messed up. <laughs> it's half what green, is there? Half, half monochrome yeah. purple. I figured I figured this would happen. I don't know what's <laughs> up. Purple. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's displaying normal on my screen. <laughs> the future is now. <laughs> <laughs> seen... Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Have you guys seen those those that those um fake Apple ads? Right, like it just works. It works perfectly, and like the screen doesn't. Oh, that's the screen stuff. doesn't function. The sound's glitching out. <laughs> it's not a bug. Apps it's a feature. To close. Patrick, stop thing. touching yourself. What? Oh yeah. Tape. Uh, Patrick, not, stop it. I, we don't want to see you as just a I'm head sure. in a sack of cloth. Why? Patrick's kidnapped. Patrick has been kidnapped. <laughs> this is what, are this is what we have. Patrick, so, blink once if you require <laughs> help. He anyway, blinked. Gentlemen, he blinked. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I don't get why... I don't get why my mood screen is frozen and Tate, Mine you're just frozen. Green. Mine's frozen. Yeah, you're. you're I can just see frozen. my mood fine. I can yeah. see my mood fine. I I don't see it being frozen. I think it's just, I think that's a my you mood, problem. He's just staring into the corner and squinting with his mouth open. <laughs> well, <laughs> Tate, you are trapped in a green void, green and purple <laughs> void. <laughs> Gentlemen. 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 Now, <laughs> if you all remember. <laughs> yes. The last Patrick, thing can you that get happened. Closer to your mic, it, it, you you sound like shit. That's me you're, always. you're an inspiring voice actor, yet I never <laughs> I've never heard you of good audio. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. You know, we don't have to do. We don't all have to do um, the, this. Well, we just go back to just turn off the cameras. I mean, I mean, I think the problem is that I think Patrick's on his phone or iPad or whatever it is, and so he's getting his audio from that, and he's standing four feet away from it. <laughs> so the audio is terrible. I'm gonna get better light. Yeah, that's probably the reason, but my laptop, I lost it, so. You well, lost I'm... your lap. What? Well, How not you lost it. Your laptop. <laughs> you <What>? lose? <laughs> you <Hold> lose? <laughs> How do you, no, okay, I see how you lose your laptop? Fuck you guys. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> my mood. Real tour. Real tour. Laptop. I know where it is. It's just I didn't charge it at all. I, I don't understand unpacked. how your dorm room looks more like a prison than mine. <laughs> I have one window <laughs> and I can't open it. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is what my dorm room looks like. It looks a hundred times better than my than yours. It looks like a hundred times greener than mine. <laughs> <laughs> it it still looks better, regardless. It also looks very green and purple for us. <laughs> okay, so I guess I will get in to an actual position in which you guys can see me and hear me and all that decent good stuff. It's, it's snowed, like, a, a lot up here. Has it snowed for you guys? A little bit. Yep. It's we got, like, seven, seven or so inches, That's I think, at max. I know. Come on. <laughs> Eight more than a lot, dude. Are you kidding? <laughs> Bro, that's over half a foot-long <laughs> sandwich from Subway, which you can get... For five dollars. Actually, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What? Shut the fuck up. What? Shut the fuck up. What did I do? It's like six or seven is actually kind of hurt after a while if you think about hey, it. Hey, when we upload, when I upload this to YouTube, you're gonna be green for the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> We're, I'm just gonna be trapped in like this glitchy vortex. Yeah. T Tate's character is perpetually in a pickle jar. Just floating around. Speaking of pickle jars. Yeah, <laughs> what happened to Glenn <laughs> Caster? <laughs> he has been bright. Patrick, get closer to your goddamn microphone. You keep on leaning back. <laughs> okay, so my official ruling. Is the stakes are putting It's so zoomed in. Glenn, Glenn's oh, is slowly, Glenn is slowly running out of time as he hits that halfway mark. By the seventh hour, Tate has come up with the idea of pickling his friend in order to possibly preserve, preserve his life even longer. However, this is meant for keeping food. <laughs> More better preserve does not preserve the body or actually make it stay in the same state, but rather fills it with salt and dehydrates it and covers it in vinegar. After, after Guy Ramsey realized his mistake, he did the only thing he could. And instead of desummoning the pickle jar, he began hacking away at it with his, which is with his butcher's knife. After causing the entire thing to break open, Glenn Caster's lifeless body was cut up by falling onto massive shards of Glenn pickle jar, as his body was then too mutilated to possibly revive. On which, hold on, I got a, I got, I got a hat, I got a, hold on. Upon which, we can't see it because it's black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Upon which, as soon as Guy Ramsey, so green, so green. <laughs> you can continue. Staring at the corpse of his friend that he made. Goodness, how long ago? Like a week ago? Like two weeks ago? Three days. Yeah, week. This has been three one to week. four days. <laughs> like one week and four days ago. So he's like sad, but he's not like torn up about it. He's like, mm. he's like the type of friend who you wouldn't go to like their funeral if they died, but if they threw like a party, that you'd go to it. Like, that type of friend. Yeah. Sort of. It's like, you don't feel, like, the absolute worst, but it does, like, occur to you, like, ooh. What the fuck are you doing, Mahmood? What are you even... I have it a doesn't... light. Uh, Turn it off! too bright. I want to be more illuminated, though. 
You were fine before. It does occur to you, though. Oh. Uh, you see, it's just... Casts, it's, whenever someone yeah, casts yeah, magic yeah, light... Yeah. And whenever someone casts magic darkness... Patrick, that's good lighting. That is good... Oh. Patrick is the only one with that decent of lighting. He just has a candle! <laughs> exactly! Has a candle. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm not... I got I got it. I got it. Boom! Perfect. Perfected it. So. So the pickling has killed Glencaster. Yes, the pickling process was responsible for Glenn's death. <laughs> for Glenn's permanent death. I shall take his body back to the dwarves and be like, build him on how he died. Permanently died. We shall mummify him and bride. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what's the What's the point of that? You know, we don't. We don't like when we build statues of presidents. We don't have them lying in a bed with a, with a thermos under it. <laughs> we should. We as as Covered soon as. Leeches. As soon as, like, one of the currently alive presidents dies, we need to encase them in a brine tank no, and just display them in, in, like, the cap. Because it's funny. No, it's not, Tate. It's <laughs> stupid. It's always been stupid. That makes it funny. Honestly, I think it would be hilarious if you walked in and saw... walked in on the White House and, like... Like, the first room is Richard Nixon's petrified corpse and pickle brine. <laughs> <laughs> the Hall of Presidents. We dig up George Washington's corpse and then oh, put it in a brine. brine. <laughs> Imagine we find that the best way to, like, cryogenically preserve people for, like, space <laughs> travel brine. is just to pickle them. <laughs> soak them in in saline. It's instead of like massive like cryo tanks, like like those sci-fi movies where like this one dude like wakes up like like the Fallout Four opening when they're banging on like the tank and they open it, and they're all like cold like like. No, they're just they're just surrounded it's, it's, it's with It's just like a dude in like a giant pickle jar. He's like banging on like the brass lid. <laughs> yeah, just surrounded with tomatoes and onions. <laughs> the tomatoes and onions. <laughs> Best way to preserve someone, and they have a meal when they get up too. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> they look at their skin; tastes delicious. <laughs> How's that drink, Draw. Patrick? <laughs> Don't drink. I got worried you're actually going to drink it and just. It's just hot wax, like shut with, boring. With molten wax. <laughs> I don't know if the wax know. like like perfectly like burned its way like all over your lips so you couldn't talk. So you had to like explain using charades to like your parents. Like <laughs> you probably don't remember this mood because it was probably like a really traumatic memory for you. But, uh, I once, like, did light a candle in your room, and, like, I, like, light a candle in your house, I, like, drank all the wax, and I spat it at your face. But me and Jake oh, wow. went you into, think it, into thinking it never happened. Yeah, 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 I remember that vividly. <laughs> vividly. <laughs> yeah, me and Jake... Kid. We got an actual bear for you call you fucking crazy. <sighs> okay. Okay. Continue with the story. So! <clears throat> I keep wanting to say McCringleberry. Guy Ram. <laughs> he still haunts us. You have grown accustomed to the way of the dwarves. Very, well, quickly, it seems. Don't you Did they build dare Did you your proposal? Me in brine. 
Do the dwarves build the brine monument? If you do this, I my next character will kill you. <laughs> Why? He doesn't have a reason to. It makes no sense canonically. It doesn't matter. You don't, okay, Tate, first of all, you don't stick <laughs> to canon all that often. <laughs> Is okay. that your next character? Huh? Is that your next character, Pinocchio? What? No. What's the context of that, then? Uh, I was uh, talking to another person on Discord, and I was saved in my pastes. In my files. I meant to uh, do this one. Why are you against being encased in brine? I don't. It's logical. <laughs> that that represents nothing. That has nothing to do with Lancaster. The question is, why should I be in case than Brian? I'm up. No pickle. No pickle. <gasps> Patrick's camera's gone. Ebh, I would in case you and Brian. If we ever met in real life, I would immediately bring out the pickle jar. Why are we all leaving? Okay, Patrick, so you disconnected your camera? Okay, you're back. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Oh, I did it too- I did it too much. Yeah. Yeah, Tate, you shouldn't be constantly turning on and off your camera. I broke it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> the color is gone again. <laughs> it's there for a second and then turns away. Yeah. I don't want Glenn Caster. Is the, is the green back? Is the green yeah, it's, back? It's back? I don't want Glenn Caster to be permanently for the rest of history encased in brine, mummified within a large statue of him in a jar of pickles. I don't want that. Glenn. Well, that's technically that. how he this permanently old... died. The dwarves would be into that, though. The dwarves no, would be into wouldn't. that. That's not at yeah. all the culture that we've been dis that we've been told. Their culture is that the is that the ultimate form of death is dying doing the craft that you love. The natural is not the craft that Glenn Caster loved and lived his life by. That's yours. <laughs> So, it's, as, as, it's such like an egotistical like ego <laughs> trip for like someone you know yes, to die yes. and then you go oh, I got this <laughs> just ruin their coffin <laughs> that's, that'd be like if like that'd be like if you died and then Patrick was put in charge of your funeral and he just made your casket look like a dick <laughs> <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. It's what he would have wanted. And this is for the best. You know, it's his culture. <laughs> it's his culture. <laughs> <sighs> no, no, don't pickle me. Don't, don't pickle me. How about we roll? How about together? we roll? No! <laughs> it's my character. Bring the proposal. <clears throat> to the dwarves. I, you bring the proposal to the dwarves. <laughs> and I roll charisma. I forgot no. my uh, real voice. The dwarves! They sounded something like this, if I remember. Not oh, yeah. wait. Hold on. Dwarves. Dwarves. Something, something like this. Dwarves. Something. Wow, dwarfish. I never mm. heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> Tate, 
Why so you're bring holding the phone? a mustache to your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, sometimes we can't see it because it's all green in the bottom half of your screen. And it just goes oh, invisible. Like this? Yeah, we can see it now, yeah. Everything's just green. For no reason. It looks like Predator version. Vision. I can't hear. So you take the proposal to the dwarves. I, why that might be a good way of preserving his memory, encasing him in his friend's, in his friend's passion. However, he has already made his mark upon our home. We have already made plans in case he were to meet his demise during one of his shows. Please. Follow me. This is the entertainment district. And so the dwarf takes you. And you follow him down into this uh, district of the uh, dwarven hold. This part is very different from the rest of it. There's not... It's not that same sort of stone and steel and bronze and cobalt that you saw. There's color, there's life, there's... The stone is... The stone houses and the uh, buildings are painted. There are murals all over the walls, magnificently beautiful. In fact, oh. Oh. you can see where two dwarves were buried. There's this, there's this building where two murals can join. Both are made by separate artists. And you read the plaque and says, Here lies the two bickering artists. Two who were too stubborn, two who were too stubborn to leave the wall to one another and decided that this piece would be their masterpiece that would beat out and erase the other from, from existence. The ending, the last drop of paint, was dealt by the brush known as the knives that they used to slit each other's throat at the exact same time over who would get to finish their mural. In the end, Both are unfinished, and yet, in a way, masterpieces because of it. May they Beautiful. make it in to have, may they make it in to the haven of art. Would that mean they, they still have, like, that feud in the dwarven afterlife and they just keep stabbing each other endlessly for eternity? Uh, <laughs> could be. I mean, if that's how they if that's how they want to spend their afterlife. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if they wanted to do that, if they thought that that was like what eternity was worth, then they totally would have. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're and probably he's normal. Oh no, he's not again. <laughs> he was Wait, normal if, for I, a second. if I keep doing this, <laughs> does it, does it send me back to normal? No, it looks like you're doing something else. <laughs> this is going on YouTube, Tate. <laughs> oh, can, can we can we start over? Say hi to your parents. Okay. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. <laughs> what happened to Patrick? Oh, wait, is this actually going on YouTube? Oh, I didn't hear you. Is this actually going on YouTube? If this is going on YouTube, I think we should actually like all like turn off the cameras just so no one sees the dumb shit we're doing. No, I'm only going to upload the audio. I'll separate it. Okay. Put Murray Arthur Pro more.
with Maria Tarapromor. To die for love is what the dwarves hate. Clack it red. <laughs> and right again. at the center. And right at the center of this plaza of art and peace and expression is a statue dedicated to the man who sparked the first creative creativity in the joyous arts. The ones of color, the ones of jokes and fun and merriment. Glen Caster. It is of him performing one of his tricks. Do you have any particular moments that any particular trick that you think Glenn might be uh, forever remembered for? Probably the one that killed him. No. <laughs> no, it's not going to be a statue of him like... <laughs> Probably the killings? No, you... the pigeons. The pigeons. <laughs> His pigeons, pigeons trick. <laughs> not the killings. <laughs> The killings are just like him slaughtering somebody. <laughs> so, yeah. it's is a good during man. My, during my youth, I would, I would call in hundreds of doors on the stage and <laughs> saw them in a half and then go on to the next part. Ta da! <laughs> they kept on waiting. They're still waiting for me to finish that trick. <laughs> And so now they have to wait for eternity. No, no. <laughs> no, that never happened. <laughs> That's not canon. It would be him like doing his, his pigeon truck, his doves. I, so, I try to bribe the dwarf and get him to put it in the moment of Glencaster's <laughs> Why, Tate? You know when make your character dies? Disgusting. When your character make dies, I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna have a vendetta oh, hold against on. you. Hold on. Okay, make an intelligence check. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. Now Tate. You know. Just a little bit about the dwarves. You know about how cult-like their religion is around their around their art and their crafts. So you know that if you were to suggest that your pickle jar replace the statue that was handcrafted by a communal not, not effort. The, not the pickle jar, the tank that killed him. The tank that killed him? Yes. No! I mean, it was dwarven crafted. Just no. He does. Okay. Now okay, you know I'll, I'll... that if you were to insult the statue... That if you were to say suggest some other burial, that the chances are that the dwarves would become extremely insulted and possibly enraged to the point of assaulting you in the streets. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave it. Tate's idea of the perfect funeral is going into someone's <laughs> grave and then shitting on their tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> now they shall be remembered in the homes. <laughs> and now a tree shall blossom from the ashes. <laughs> so yes, the statue is of Glencaster, a much younger Glencaster with not as so many moles or wrinkles. He looks... He has this joyous smile on his face with his... Excuse me. With his hands outstretched and billowing forth from his sleeves and his robes are Lunk's band of pigeons. 
In fact, there seems to be something very interesting. It's like there's a constant presence of pigeons around that area. And yet, even more interestingly, no defecation. <laughs> These Until pigeons. Tate gets there. <laughs> then there will be. <laughs> this is what he would have wanted. <sighs> the statue is inscribed with runes that cause spectral pigeons to fall out. <laughs> you're muted. I oh, no, you're not. I'm, yeah, I muted myself, yeah. Oh, no. POV date. <laughs> At his friend's funeral. Fucking <laughs> fun. I miss them so much. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Give me one moment. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm so He's going sorry, to a God. graveyard. <laughs> I'm, I'll be right back. I propose a Glen Caster museum with the centerpiece being the trick that killed him. Why do you want that? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, it's when not... you die, when you die, my next character is going to <laughs> do whores <laughs> at your funeral. Turn me into cheese. It's what I would have wanted. Is what he wanted. <laughs> the secret of the black parmesan. I must be encrusted. <laughs> no! That's disgusting, Tate. <laughs> Baboon, you have to realize that I am a sociopath. And you have, like... Every, anything that you propose, any horror that you propose, is... I'm gonna think it's funny. <laughs> There's not much that can be. Uh, oh, my movie got finished editing. The Terminator one, or? No, uh, the movie I filmed. Was it the, the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde one? No, um, Devil's in the Details. Uh, you watching it? The rain's very loud. Here, I'll I'll keep it. I'll watch it uh afterwards because I think Patrick's back. So, have you seen the finished version? Not finished. Finished. Mostly uh, edited version of uh, Goats yet? I believe you have a link to it, right? You have access? Do I? I I've been, like, really busy this week. And I got I mean, in trouble. I mean, I a while ago. Uh, oh, you mean the Google Drive? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have the link to that. <sighs> what do you think about the cleric spells I added? The ones that I, uh, I, I saw... I didn't read Miracle yet. What do you mean by replacing holy water with this when you say miracle? I didn't like holy water. It's really vague, and I was worried about it. So I removed holy water, and oh. I just added miracle. I was going to have miracle as well, but I got rid of holy water. So it's now goes up to uh, like level eight. Cleric does now. Um, instead of what it was before when it only went up to, like, level 4. So there's a lot, there's, you know, there's more stuff. 
There's a couple more spells here. One, two, three. There's, th there's three more spells. What are you laughing at? I'm just looking at, at Patrick's drawing again, and I'm thinking about Spider's Man. Maybe he'll make a cameo. <laughs> Why would Spider's Man make a cameo? What? Spider's Man walks up to you in the middle of the street. He says, hello there, can you put me to Argentina? Oh. I think Patrick's Ooh. back. Patrick, are you back? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Right here. What? Yeah, I'm we're a man. an interesting podcast. <laughs> This this has to be edited out. This long gap. No, no, of I'm not keeping it all in. We're keeping we're keeping the filler. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Oh. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Good thing sucks. Mm. I love how like half of this is just me, me making very weird noises. Also, I love your idea of the English Caesar salad. <laughs> the English Caesar salad. It's salad, but with shrimp and potatoes. I don't or get. Fish. I I get I get the potatoes. I think I think it should be like like fried fish though. It should be fried fish well, and potatoes. Fish. Um, it's any fried seafood. Yeah, any anything that's fried. That's seafood. Yes. Maybe I should have had my salad with steak instead. Steak and potatoes. Well, that'd be an actual, like, decent salad. It, the idea of an English Caesar salad <laughs> is that it's Caesar. absolute garbage. It was fine. <laughs> yeah, I put some, I put some um, red pepper on it. No, no, oil. no seasoning. No seasoning. There cannot be seasoning on... Any English dish. I had okay. I had a Gibraltar. I had an English Gibraltar. <laughs> okay, a no. teensy bit of flavor. No, no, full English, full English. Not even the only English? the only seasoning you can use is salt. That is the only thing you can use. Just salt and vinegar. Yeah. Maybe not even vinegar, just no, they salt. they use vinegar for their, for their fish and chips. Okay, maybe vinegar. It's such a staple but that no, they ran No out pepper. Of vinegar. Anything that has, like, a molecule of spice on it is out of the yeah. question. And very little salt. Very little. Very little. God, I, like, I just... To... Sorry, you continue. I was about to be, like, just enough so that, like... You can see a grain, but you can't really taste it. Yeah. When I went to London, I had fish and chips. It was stupid. It was terrible. It's bland fried fish with bland steak fries. Nothing salted. That's what like amazes me. Like There's the no English have amazing on their chips. The, uh, the the British have amazing chefs like Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. And, and they, they can't an cook a good food. dish of their own. They cook amazing foreign dishes. Yeah, they, I've been they to England twice. Food and dishes from other from other countries. And yet they can't make a good original dish. Like yeah. they, I think the only like British cuisine is terrible. It's like, there are like a, a, a very bread stale scones with a teensy bit of cream and a tiny bit of there strawberry are, jam. Like, think, like, three British entrees that I can think of that are actually, like, pretty good. The English breakfast. No, no, that's, like, that's blood sausage. All right, minus the blood sausage. Minus the blood. I will agree with you. The blood sausage is absolutely terrible. I, I had it, and I just Isn't could not like eat eggs, it. eggs, blood sausage, and, like, potatoes or something? It's uh, eggs, bacon, slash sausage... Um, then there's, uh, 
toast and beans. The beans on toast actually is surprisingly decent. I've that I've had it before. I'm sorry, I disagree. I think the English breakfast is terrible. No way that works. I think it's absolutely okay. terrible. Shepherd's pie is another good like English yeah. entree. That yeah, that is a pretty fine. good entree. Yeah. And there's one more I feel like is a, a really good entree that they have. I can't like remember beef what Wellington? it is. Beef Wellington, yeah, that's or good. Or is that French? No, Wellington's. Well, British Wellington English. is English. Well, Wellington is English. Yeah. Other than that, I can't think of a good English no, dish. No. Like only when they combine I, pastry <laughs> with meat. That's the only time it's good. Yeah, but I will say desserts are desserts are pretty good. Their desserts are pretty decent too. I am stole like, most of that from the French and the Italians. I think the apple pie originally like came from England. So the apple pie, yes, seventeen forty eight. I think is the earliest recipe. I guess yeah. I think pumpkin pie is better though. I'm not much of a pie person, but I saw yeah, I, I saw an apple pie being cooked, and I was like, I don't like like uh, fruit pies with chunks in them. I like it when it's more like pureed, it's sort of the like consistency of like um, of like cream cheese of uh, cheesecakes. I think that's when pies are at their ultimum. I can't remember who originally said this, but it was um, the English still eat like the Germans are flying overhead. Yeah, that, <laughs> just that entire like the the rationing has just totally altered their. It's their food. altered their diet. It has altered their diet. Like their spam is so big there. If you want good like English cooking, go to the like foreign districts where they have like all of, like the foreign cuisine. Like oh yeah, of like course. Indian and don't and go, uh, Greek. Don't go to 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 London and then eat at an at an English restaurant. Go to a London, eat at an Indian restaurant or a Pakistani restaurant. Eat at a kebab stand. A kebab stand. Iran. Yeah, I know. Kebab stands are great. Get kebabs. Don't get fish and chips. Fish and chips uh, suck. Just, uh, but, uh, just uh, like, I find British and a lot of European cuisine very, like, um, what's the term? Bland? Um, not just bland, but also, like, pompous. Right? That's fair. Like, I saw this documentary where this British man was in, like, a, was in, like, a metro station, right? He said, oh, my... He said, like, this is my favorite meal. Oh, I remember having this when I was a child. And he pulls out old scones. And he goes... And then you go spread some cream cheese... Just a just a dab, just a tea, just a teaspoon of cream cheese on, just spread it nice and thin, nice and thin, so you can barely taste it. It's not it's not flavored cream cheese. It's just plain cream cheese, which is terrible. It's it's not good. I mean, you get cream cheese, get like honey or cinnamon flavored, and then he goes, and that's not it. Then you want to take a tiny half teaspoon of strawberry jam. Oh, no, it was raspberry jam, which is worse. Ra oh, raspberry, and then, oh. And then he just spread very thinly and just went... Mm. Oh. Best meal that's ever been. I'm like, you've eaten a very hard, stale piece of bread. A very <laughs> shit, a very <laughs> terrible piece of bread. Bread, oh, very terrible God. pastry. Well, the smallest amount of cream cheese and jam I've ever seen. It's not even like cream cheese or jam inside of it or infused in it. It's just layered on. It's top. just on it. It's just on it's it. On just top. very light. He, he just takes one. Done. I'm like, who, who are you? Have you eaten food before? Have you lived in a closet <laughs> your entire life? I think I've only when I last time I went to England. I think I only ate besides the English breakfast. I've only ate like one British like dish, and that was in Ireland, and it was a good sucks ass. It's terrible. It's terrible, and they can't also they can't. Do they had a shepherd's pie stew. The a shepherd's yeah, well, pie stew is pretty good. Yeah, 
but they can't do like also they can't do British they can't do American food right as well. I mean, I went to this restaurant there, and it was like full American like British food, huh? I said full American. Full American. No, it was a fancy. It was a fancy. Cheeseburger and gun. First off, American food only has three spices. That <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it only has three spices. It's chili powder, salt, and black pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Preservatives, <laughs> microplastics, and pesticides. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course. That, that, that's the food pyramid right there. <laughs> American food pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> microplastics, <laughs> pesticides, <laughs> forever chemicals. <laughs> right at the very tippy top, you could treat yourself to only a little fluoride. Oh, it's just a teensy bit. Just a, a tiny bit of Botox. Just the for tiniest the bit. Yeah, yeah, for this. Yeah. Did you guys hear, like, the weird theory that they were putting estrogen in, like, school fountains, school water fountains to make it more acceptable? What, hey, what would Patrick, be the purpose of putting you... estrogen? It's a fucking conspiracy theory of, the, of, right, of right-wingers. Turn of the know. freaking frogs gay! And they're so concerned about the kids, they never talk to them. Because they're Honestly, not allowed within ten feet of a school. <laughs> yes, they're not. Honestly, I think they have. I think they have a point. And then I think. <laughs> I think most people though don't understand what happens to you when your hormones are just suddenly just knocked off balance. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why, you know, trans people, they don't, they don't just add, they also subtract to reach proper ratios. Yeah. <laughs> if you just add a hormone, terrible things happen. I kind, I kind of actually know what you're talking about this time because I'm in psychology, which is... Yeah. Oh, it's such a boring class. I, I, one of my friends, I sit right next to him in that class, and... We haven't even gotten to, like, we've barely gotten to the biology part. He's just playing Catan, and I don't blame him. He's playing a board game in the middle of a lecture? <laughs> no, no, he doesn't have the fucking board out, like, with, like, five people around, like... He walks in with Monopoly and sets it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on his phone, but... <laughs> just two dudes playing, like, chess while, <laughs> while there's a lecture going Patrick, on in the Patrick, you are so far away, no one will be able to hear you. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna simulate what what it sounds like to you. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, my character... he looks so small. He looks so <laughs> small. Wait, that's what Patrick is. Well, Patrick Hardy is small. <laughs> He's like melting into the carpet. <laughs> Dude, I am so my fucking stummy hurts, man. Patrick, you are developing a terrible habit of ever whenever we play, you just roll up in your you put your entire body within a within a small Sweat jacket and just stretch it out as <laughs> big as like a as big as like a sixty gallon balloon, and then you well, just gradually get farther and farther away from the microphone. <laughs> my fucking stummy hurts. My, my stummy. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Why are we starting at seven? Why do we start at seven? Did you have to work today? Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually had to apply to a couple colleges and uh, oh. go to a film. Oh, what colleges? You went to the police? Oh, I went to a play oh. to see uh, one of my juniors. Wow, so you told us you had the day free and <laughs> you filled up your schedule. <laughs> well, what colleges do you, did you apply to? We would have been able to play at like five or like way earlier. But, like, Why do you not suggest those the day was the only day I could see my junior, and so I had to do it. And then 
today is also one of the last days to apply for college, so... Well, what colleges did you apply to? Uh, Sinclair and Wright State. Wright State? That was that was one of my... what I considered. Those are private colleges, Patrick. Yeah, I'm trying to find... I'm looking at... Uh, I'm looking to find colleges that aren't private colleges. Like. Yeah, because you're limiting the amount of grants and, you know, yeah. rewards you can get. Oh, look, I'm looking, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm searching, I'm looking up, like, all the different colleges and everything. Well, if you want to live close to, if you want to live close to home, then, you know, um, what's it called? UC would be probably a good fit for you, depending on your degree. UC? Well, UC. It, it, my dad didn't want me to go to UC because he didn't want me to get stabbed. <laughs> Patrick will be fine. <laughs> that you know, Patrick. Happens to Patrick, point knowing five percent of the student body. Point five. They can't stab <laughs> us all. <laughs> point. But knowing Patrick, I assume he'll like try and be like. Ah. I assume Patrick will walk attack. down like a dark alley and go, "Oh no, I'm all alone with no weapons." And if when they come out, he's gonna pull on a candle in front of their face. I'm gonna jump <laughs> on. The ah. and then pull on his Cthulhu statue, start bludgeoning them. <laughs> Also, take, I think your, I think your fucking like mic glitched out or something. Because it delay. It's like a two it second all, delay. Mike was Mahmood making a joke and then you going, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, and so just, I just heard, I just heard like grunts and groans coming from you, and then like the mood was talking about me beating someone to death. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, let's. It's we, an hour and a half has passed. Let's begin. Yeah, we need to. We need to start. Yes. Thanks for so, starting us so late, Patrick. <laughs> Thanks for having a life, Patrick. Sorry. No, 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 this is completely avoidable. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is 100% avoidable. <laughs> Patrick created the schedule a week in advance, and then he started to fill it up <laughs> with other activities. Well, it was like all this stuff got jumped on me, and so it was like, and so I was like, uh, this is the one thing that I have like a slight amount of control over, so I'm gonna do that. But right. anyways, let's let's get started. Let's get started. Yes. So you come up to the statue, you know it's good, all around it, and there are rooms all around it which have a constant spell of. Lunk band of pigeons. So, constantly there are these little spectral pigeons and birds, like, all going around. <laughs> Swarming anyone who gets near. And right at the base of it, it's this tube that says, Here lies Glenn Pastor. Great magician, great entertainer, and better friend. Ut moriatur pro mon. I'm getting bailed out so hard. Kate okay, without color. Kate has color <laughs> again. again. <laughs> I didn't want to do anything. I think you made me touch. Did you like touch or no. touch the camera? No, I didn't do anything. Touch. I did this. Does this work or? No. Touch the camera. Just like tap it. Kate is forcing it to be like that for the meme.
Okay, so, um, what, yeah. I guess, how do, how do I meet Mahmood's new character now? Well, very quickly, one moment. So, the tomb doors are open, and you carry him down. You carry Glenn's body down into the catacombs. Bill fresh with bride. <laughs> they place his body, his body in the tomb. And they said, All right. All right. Now, for the procession. I'll call the dwarves. And he leaves for a moment. And you hear a bell ring. Camera cuts. Zooms out. Zooms through the perfect hold. And then flies through the wilderness. And into the castle doors. And right back to the throne room of the kingdom. The king says, I have entrusted, I have entrusted the fate of the land to those unfit to serve it. So I have called upon my God, and they have sent you. I don't know what you are, nor do I fully care. But, if what I understand is true, you will set the path right, and you will bring about victory and safety for the world. And the camera zooms out from the king's face, and it, <laughs> and it, started this quick flip around as you see him. 16 feet tall. <laughs> Completely wooden. With a sickle and a scythe. Nope. Incorrect. What is what is what a sickle and a chain and I'm wearing a black coat, uh, wearing a black cloak. A sickle and a chain and a black cloak. Sickle. Are you some kind of fucking comic? <laughs> <laughs> the, the American ghost come out again. <laughs> you some kind of fucking coming? The yeah, ghost me? of Stalin comes out. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. But once again, Tate, I'm 16 feet tall. <laughs> I'm towering. I'm a two-story building. <laughs> The camera focuses in on the mysterious stranger's face, barely hidden by the cloak, seeing two gleaming red eyes. Tate's not paying attention. He's looking at shit. Okay, let's no, watch it first, and then, then we'll see what 